Sometimes we find ourselves in circumstances where we know more than the TypeScript compiler. If we know that an entity is more than a current type it is, then in those circumstances we can use type assertions. Type assertions are like typecasts in other languages, but in TypeScript they don't perform any special checking or restructuring data. In TypeScript there are two methods to use type assertions. One of them is with the as operator and the other one is with angle brackets. In the beginning, TypeScript only had the angle brackets option, but if you would have used something like JSX, which has an XML-like syntax, you can see that people were experiencing problems. And that is why we have the as operator now. You can use either one of these methods and both will work just fine. Now let's jump in and take a look at an example of where and how we would use such a helper. The best example to show this in action, I think it's the HTML input element. I have a simple input here with an ID of my input and if we want to access the value property of this element in TypeScript we would have to do something like this. So first we'll grab the my input element and then we would do input dot value. But as you can see we immediately get an error saying property value does not exist on type HTML element. So to fix this we can tell the TypeScript compiler that this element is an HTML input element and because in this case we know that this is an HTML input element this is where we would use the type assertions. Let's go ahead and add the HTML input type here and just like that we fix the errors and we now have more accurate statement completions as well. As you saw here TypeScript assertions are very handy in situations like this and similar situations where you know more than the TypeScript compiler. Thanks everybody for watching, hope you enjoyed, post your comments, questions and suggestions down below and I'll see you in the next one.